everybody! I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. It is time for another episode of In the House, where I go to somebody's house and snoop around and take you all with me. Don't forget that if you want your house featured in In the House, I do have a sign-up sheet. The link is down in the description box below, so be sure that you read the requirements and sign up so I can come and check out your house. Today we're heading out to Laria's house, and Laria describes herself as an 80s child. She's also a huge fan of Rainbow Bright, and she is a Hufflepuff. So I'm super excited to see how she has decorated the home that she shares with her husband. Let's go! So Laria's place is out here on this beach, which is pretty awesome. There's a lot of water here, which is great. I love Second Life water, so I would just want to be outside all the time so that I could see it. And she uses the Serene Tree and Windmill Home by LAQ Decor. And I actually know this house very well. I've never lived in it myself, but I have seen it a lot. I think it is a really, really cool house. You can really tell that Laria has a very whimsical side to her because there are a lot of really cute little pieces from Mishmish and Colopsia and it's just adorable. She also makes good use of the beach with some pieces from Tromp, like this little beach shack here. Super, super cute and I love all of the lights that are in the trees. That is so pretty. You guys know I'm a sucker for sparkle lights. Let's head on up into the tree house here. Oh, look at the bunnies. So cute. Walking up to somebody's house for the first time is just so much fun because you just never know what you're going to find once you get up to the front door. And look, there are tons of plants. Oh my gosh, you guys know that makes me so happy. She has some really cool pieces up here from Death Row Designs and Hextraordinary. So cute. And some of the things here I think that I remember from Deco Crate. So that's awesome. I love her entryway here. There's so many things to see, and I love the colors of the walls. I love the rose from Peaches, because you guys know that Beauty and the Beast is my favorite story, so of course I love that. Just so many cute things to look at. So this house has a lot of rooms, so we're going to start with one of the rooms off of the entryway, and this looks like a game room. We've got a greedy table. I love greedy. I am terrible at it, but I love to play. I have a greedy table too, I just don't play that often. Maybe I would get better if I would actually play more. Got some cool stuff here. I love a game room. And this couch is by Cheeky P, and I love it. I've actually got this couch out in my Linden house because it's just, it's really cool and has some great animations in it. And in another room here, we've got, I can't really tell the theme of this room. She really wasn't kidding when she said that they have things everywhere because they totally do. But I love all the plants and I love the bar items in here. I remember this. This actually comes, um, the spear tub thing comes from Backbone and was in this month's deco crate. And this looks to be their main living area. It's really cool. A little bit darker than the other rooms, but not super dark. I like the Ouija board rug that she's got here. I think it's really cool. I'm a little bit freaked out by Ouija boards, but the rug is really neat and that comes from Petite Mart. And over here I've got more tables and crystals and crafting and a picture of Laria and her husband. Aw, adorable! And then she's also got a big marriage certificate framed on the wall. So cute. I love the pictures. So many pictures, which I am a super big fan of. And oh, uh, look, she totally is a Rainbow Bright fan because look how cute. These little guys are so cute. What were they called again? Sprites? I think. I, I don't remember, but oh, so cute. The little shark bed is from Jian, and I have one in real life for my cat. It looks almost exactly like that, so I love it. And then in this room, we've got another magical, mystical type of space. Ooh, what is this? That's really cool. I love that. So in the hallway here, we've got some cute little things, boogers, bears, and 
rainbows and more prints just so cute i feel like i'm gonna miss a lot of things because there's just so much to look at and in this room it's set up kind of like a pub with the bar and everything y'all we gotta come party at laria's place she's got so many cool drinking things here it's so nice i know that this bar is by mad p and it's really really nice isn't it and of course there's food yay food Love it. So up here on the second floor, we've got uh, a few um, naughtier things. So we'll just kind of keep going on our tour here. And we'll come in here into the bedroom, which also has a few naughty things. So we're trying not to show that on the YouTubes. <laughs> but it's it's a cute room. And I love this, um, this moon and star mirror. It's so pretty it comes from the plastic and they always just have such really cool things i like their store quite a bit so outside of the pub there is a porch and it's got unicorns which are so cute i love all of the whimsical little touches that are in this house it's just precious and these little unicorns are by a store called nomi which i don't think I've ever heard of before, but I might have to check them out. And before we go, Laria mentioned that there was an underwater part to their home, so let's head under the waves and check it out. Ooh, pretty! Look at the dolphin! Ah, so cute! Oh, I love this! This, um, ruin here for under the water is by unkindness and it is so cool this whole place is just so cool i love it so i'm pretty sure that i probably missed some things in laria's home but we're gonna go ahead and head on back to the vlogger box i absolutely adore this home i love all the little whimsical touches to it i love just how much there is to see in this house Thank you so much for allowing me to come and check out your home. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I do have a sign up sheet if you would like for me to come and check out your house for In the House. Please read the requirements because my recording time is very limited these days, unfortunately, and I want to make sure that the time works for everybody before I come over to your house. You don't have to live in just a traditional house. The only thing I ask is that you don't just live on some plain platform because then there's really nothing to look at. If you like this video, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up. It is always super appreciated, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. Until next time, I love you guys, and I'll see you soon!